Oh, it is recording. Good. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, we got s to Bob. <laughs> so, greetings, minions. Lord Croc and Squirrel here for the Hidden Levels, and this is my initial review of Maze. We're gonna do some commentary here and get to introduce you to a introduce you to a little friend. It'll be fun. Um, Bob wants to do stuff. This game has a serious sense of humor and is <laughs> oh man. The game is a lot of wrong in so many ways that one it, it, it really does boggle the mind sometimes and we're gonna kind of wander through the game here a little bit let me grab this coat rack here and it's gonna do a bunch of other junk because that's gonna be a thing there's a pizza place near here apparently Oh. There are a few things to note about this game. If you can't interact with it, it won't light up. Although you may not have all the things you need to light to to interact with certain objects. Ah, jumpsuits. And your inventory is actually kind of a special thing. That uh what you call it critter there? Uh huh. That uh what you call it there was all kinds of fun. So we're just going to be taking the footage here since there's going to be a bunch of my voiceover on it anyway. I uh, love the kitty I have in the background if she wants to join in. It has been known to happen. We just came from there. <laughs> no fishies in the tanks because they're all dead. They've all been dead for a while now. Now, what do we got? What do we got going right here? Ooh. We play on the thing. Oh look, it's a bear. You got your bear? Mr. Bear is fun. I'm pretty sure there's something else around here I could actually pick up. Could have sworn there was more stuff here to pick up. Hmm. I love naps. I love naps. Ha ha. And one of them is a blank spot for a space. A little sword here. Some other little fun things. This is a child care facility in the middle of a top secret base whose purpose was we don't even know. So. Bits and pieces of stuff everywhere. And here's the gym. This 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 place used to have quite a large. Uh, used to have quite a large. Uh, there we go. Those. Okay. Mhm. Mm There's a grate back there. We can't get to it for all the orange boxes. All right. The orange boxes will clean them. The orange boxes are a form of invisible wall that you can actually see. It's almost impressive. Oh, nope, don't have a thing for that. I haven't been to the right place yet. Which is not that way. Because then we'd be looking down at Bob's butt. And we don't want to look at Bob's butt because Bob butt is, Bob's butt is no fun. Okay, items placed here. Got a thing here. Okay. Oh, there's that piece, which goes to that bit. What? Oh. I have to do it again? Oh, right. Hold on. Just a moment, please. Okay, okay, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I click into the thing. There we go. Sorry about that. 
All right. So, we are now wandering around this lavy thing. Here we go. A Gripatron. This will come in handy. Haha. -ha. You betcha. I've got that keyboard on the power strip. Put that there. It's screwing around with my AI experience. Stop. Yeah. 26, 27k of ROM free. Commodore 42 Basic Version 0. Okay. Now, for something here, I, there's a tool I need that should be lying about, uh, should be faffing about here. <coughs> yeah, the notes are hilarious. They really are. So the Commodore computer is working, but nothing else is in this room. Yes. And we're going to do a couple things here. Oh, we're going to put my friend here. There we go. So I still need two more things here for this. Uh -huh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Hashtag run away, run away. Okay, this must lead to uh, Ted's office. Yep, that's a trash pile. Uh, yes. Oh, there's one of the things I needed. And that drawer opens to reveal a screwdriver, which will get us to the last thing we actually have to have right this minute. Uh, there will be help. Another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well done. <laughs> okay. Those those three are now have, have, are being are defined as the three idiots. They are be, they are noted they are, they are noted to be noted hereafter as the three idiots. Okay, because this is somebody. This is Ted's office. Hello to Ted's office. Um, which way did I come in? I don't remember. I think it was. I think it's this way. That it's actually clean. Yes, it is. There we go. We are on the move, and we don't have, we don't need that just yet. We need to go down here to the stupid spot because the people that put this together were morons. Yep, uh, extremely obvious big panel. Popped it open. There's the ram. Now we're gonna run back here real fast. And you're gonna get a me you're gonna get to meet a really good friend of mine. Hey, that right there. Now, the old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. It says massive error. Blah 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 blah. However, now we can interact with that thing again. And it looks kind of like this. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Bloody <Vladdy> help. <sighs> oh. Why guy so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <sighs> so, where we go? We're gonna go that away. <laughs> you 
You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted. Forever. Now I'm going to do a thing here with the audio. I've turned the voice up for everybody. Since not everybody's going to be able to hear it. And that'll be good. Alright. <coughs> so, this is bloody. What do you, what, what do you, what do you think? We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is, what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is. It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesolo! I don't think I want to know what he said. Traction! What if you're just going to be like that? Do I want to know what he right. just said? We completely forgot. We have a message for you. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> you should hit the You're going to tell me later, right? What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. I wonder why, Vladdy. <laughs> but yes, in the course of this game, we have a friend, but we had to make him. We had to make our friend, because making friends is fun. Right? All right. Now, this whole game is controlled in messy keyboard stuff, because that's going to be a thing. I don't know if we even can operate this thing with a controller. Uh, and frankly, some, a game like this really isn't any better. Okay. This is the way to Bob's office. Or no, this is Ted's office. Yep. Come on, Vladdy. Uh, he'll catch up. So boy, what a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? Bob, you disgusting slob. <laughs> Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your interest in the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Yeah, well... Sugar bagels. <coughs> this is really a point-and-click wander-around adventure game with some really nifty graphics, a great sense of humor, and, well, Vladdy, wherever he went. He's right here somewhere. Oh, there he is. And Vladdy. Because Vladdy is cool. We like Vladdy. We can crash down. We can look at that. We can look at that Vladdy, but he doesn't talk. We don't talk to Vladdy. Vladdy talks to us. All right. Rather than go and show him the other end of this, we're actually going to get on with it. We're going to run down to the gym real quick. There is absolutely nothing left in this room except the except the odd note. And I when I, on my first playthrough, I kept coming back here, completely certain that there was something in here. See, the computer's gone, but the screen's still working, <laughs> which is always hilarious. All right. Let's see. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, a lot of the computers here were built by Commodore because I don't even know why. This is not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks to help them understand life. And yes, that would be very classic Flatty. All right, moving on to the showers, which is where we were just told to go. All right, and the shower, this is the locker room, the showers are that away, and this was a place where there were orange boxes a little while ago. Let me stay here while you do your stupid things, idiot.
Now, there is no way to get ourselves killed in here. Because reasons. Except that way, which goes absolutely nowhere. Alright. Gotta follow the red line. Follow the wavy red line. Okay, now we're gonna break off. We're gonna get down this yellow line. There's a cutscene down here. <coughs> the game starts off fairly simple and just gets more and more hilarious from, from there. Surrounded by idiots, rattle, underappreciated, ridiculed, scorn. Here's really, our primary that? antagonist. It's not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. Exes. Ugh. Ridiculous. Hmm. Much better. Some of my best work. Was it saying something? What was I doing? Ah, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests. Dealing with unwanted guests. He means me. I jumped over the coffee cup just to be a whack, just to be a whack job. If we actually have a problem child in this game, um, he's it. Uh, on a number of levels, he's gonna, <laughs> he's actually a source of, uh, of a couple of different puzzles, uh, of some of some real of some real serious strangeness. We didn't even get a good look at ourselves until late in the game. Any part of ourselves. Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting. How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated. This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm. Must be dealt with. <laughs> mm -hmm. And again with the beaker. Yeah, he's probably talking about me. Okay. Moving on. Let's go get our assignment. Unless I'm going the wrong way, which I don't think I am. And I don't think I am. Yep, turned around, went the wrong way. That's okay. Been there. Known to happen, folks. So, what can I actually say about Maze? Uh, it is a well put together game, which is something I wasn't quite expecting. Um, it's well put together. All of your puzzles will work in their correct terms and in roughly their and, and in roughly. <laughs> And in ways that, whilst interesting and innovative, are logical in and of themselves. It has a, cons it has a cons logical consistency oh, that is absolutely stunning, especially in games of this nature. We are uh, not yes. amused that you have kept us waiting. As our servant informed you of your task. No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Probably have Our been. cowardly captors saw to that. By stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Uh-huh. Of course. We would not expect one such as yourself to understand. Of course not. But... Perhaps you are different from the rest. Maybe. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? There are also a variety of little bitty no, mini games that actually work in not. this game. Um, but the we would be remiss. If only we did not one that drove me nuts was the was, was a rhythm dancing so mini game. We bequeath to you running your around some place in this area. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And raise the rings. 
Only then will you be worthy of consideration. She's telling me to go through through about half the game at this point. Okay, West Hook checkpoint. All right, let's go pick up Bloody again. The first time around, I went straight there. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Ma I didn't do anything massive. I actually went back along the yellow paths after receiving my assignment. And the West Hook checkpoint actually has it has a mm, how how do you want to call it an idiotic American built security system <laughs> that upsets Vladdy greatly. Ah, idiot! So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? Yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going. If I crouch for too long, I'll get stuck like that. I said that originally. Okay. Now that we're out of that neighborhood. There are also various bits and pieces you can pick up for a thing called portfolio. Your portfolio doesn't change from playthrough to playthrough. And... Apparently, there's about a half a dozen of them that are actually pretty easy to miss. It's 75 pieces across the entire game, and I missed several of them, actually. Uh, that's because I didn't play to this point. I actually had no idea. In fact, I had no idea what the hell I was doing, which was really even worse. Um, I don't think I need anything more in Bob's office, act and in Ted's office, actually. I think the next thing is going to be in Bob's office. But, as part of the story, you will actually watch the, the situation in here degenerate greatly. Lots of blue post-it notes. There's an old Commodore 42! Of course, that 42 being most likely a reference to Life, the Universe, and everything. Solid gold toilets and a chandelier. Yes, 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 because that's a thing. Now, one of these has a freaking had a freaking note on it at one point, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, somehow or another, Ted managed to get the get Bob's key, the key to Bob's office, and I uh, got things, got things run around to such a degree that, uh, that's, that, that I'm going in the wrong direction. Yep, absolutely. All right. Oh, we might as well check the notes. <laughs> Here's another one. Be a pal, put it up, would you please? <laughs> Uh, yeah. How <laughs> many did you order? And why is my face on the stupid horse? <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I, th I think Bob might have been trying to send you a message there, Ted. Oh, that's the wrong one. <gasps> one around here. Of course, that goes back to where it came, so... Obviously, I'm doing it wrong again, but with Vladdy, we have loads of little fun things, uh, and he's actually he actually comes in quite handy, no matter how much he bitches. So there are too many containers in here. Vladdy does not like it. Too many vets. All right. We cannot get back this way because Vladdy cannot fix that. But for every major piece of scenery change, Vladdy actually does have something to say. It's not almost never polite. Uh, at least not until the very end. He does actually have something nice to say about people. 
The six are just few and far between. I don't remember where the West point, where the West checkpoint is. I don't suppose it matters. Alrighty then. Um, I have been asked to put a rating on this game from uh, from one to a hundred. I'm gonna get this a 97. That motion blur doesn't. The motion blur in here doesn't do me a doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Um. It's a little. It it can make it can make me a little queasy when I when I'm not prepared for it. But other than that, it actually the, the whole the game on the whole works very well. Uh, and I am very much impressed by it. I was not. Ex I was expecting, uh, especially for the twenty dollar release price, that finish line games wouldn't give us a, wouldn't give us nearly as good an experience as we've got the average player if they know what they're doing will be done in probably three or three and a half hours um i took five on my first playthrough and that was a lot of doing what i was just doing a lot of backtracking a lot of poking my nose into every freaking thing, trying to find that one bit where I could just get a, where I could just get a move on. <coughs> uh, but ultimately, the game complete. You can you can finish the game in six hours. You do have a couple of places where you can get yourself hammered, and yeah. All I'm gonna say is if you pay attention to everything. Examine all the little bits and listen to Vladdy complain. You'll probably do okay. Uh, I think I only managed to die like to twice the entire game. Back. Nothing goes in it, idiot. And then there's that. I wasn't looking at Vladdy when he started talking. And. Yeah, so that's pretty much the end of that. Uh, I'm gonna hand it a score of 97 because I think it actually ha it, it actually deserves one. Uh, it's brilliantly put together. It looks great, even on, e even on the low texture settings. It looks fairly good, and that's saying something. Uh, I tried firing it up on my potato. It did actually run, and it. And with all with the appropriate cooling, managed to not shut the machine down. So it's got a fairly wide range of operability. Replay value is a little on the limited side. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but it's a bundle of fun while you're doing it. And twenty bucks, I think, might be a hair stiff. But the way everything comes together, the ending of the entire thing holy crap holy crap that ending um and the sense of humor that went with it um i haven't seen it's like in a game like this in a long time and i'm going to say right now for finish line games well done so uh with that i think i will bid you all good night and uh, we'll see you next time.